Hello and welcome to this video. Today we are going to be changing the shavings in the chicken nesting box. Alrighty, and so with that, we're gonna go ahead and get the supplies. So what we're gonna need is a tub, of course, to put the old shavings in, something to scoop the um, shavings into the tub, and of course, the shavings, which is all here in our shed. All right, so Dylan's gonna grab the tub. I'm gonna go look for the shavings, so y'all help me look for them, because, ah, I wonder what they're doing down there. I don't know. Um, we need, um, you know, you know that blue, um, dustpan? That little dustpan that's in your mower? We need that. Yeah. All right. So here we go. That's why one of these things is really, really helpful. Um, just grab it because it's bigger. So one of the things that's really, really helpful is to have something like this. I'm going to go ahead and say, okay. Look the sky. Um, so, yeah, one of the things that's really helpful with having one of these is you can just put all the stuff back there. You can just haul it away. There's, like, little tie-downs here in the corners to um, tie stuff down. We only need the dustpan, okay? Let's just go ahead and put it in there. Yeah, that's fine. This tub, what we do with this that I just broke, um, it's all bashed up and stuff. So what we do is we just haul chicken stuff in there before we um, had problems with, I think it was raccoons or cats or something, getting into the water um, of our chickens. We have little buckets to store water so it's easier in the winter to just dump it out in there. And um, But the chickens... Um, they were, ha uh, not the chickens, but something was getting in there and tearing up the milk jugs. So that's what this purpose was, was to cover this for a, this is to cover the water for a while. But now we just use it for putting, like, junk in. And when you can see, it's all, like, stretched out. And there's all these cracks down there in the bottom. So we have used this a lot. Um, we'll start heading down there. But I'll tell you all real quick, our grandpa, actually... I'm not showing my face our grandpa actually gave us like a bunch of heat lamps and stuff for the chickens and um in that bucket so we just been using it for a while all right so here's here's what we're gonna do now all right um right about now i'm gonna be switching over to the gopro footage hello and welcome to the gopro footage the um mic might not sound the best because it's in like its case um so now we're gonna go ahead and drive down the chicken stuff out of our cyber side into the chicken coop to change their shavings in their nesting box. Mm. Oh well we did put the chickens in the garden as you can see. Wait, um, you put them in the garden? Yeah. As you can um, tell, it's trying to get out. I'll help it in a minute. All right, so I'm going to scoop out all the trashy um, this um, cedar baby. So I kind of already put it in a pile. Let me show you that, guys, that part. Scoop it in there. And I wish this had a higher thingy. Just set it up. Then there. And remember, these don't have to be perfect because um, we're just going to put more. more in there. Yeah. Uh, after this, 
should be good enough. All right, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, right. you're, you might be wondering, um, how 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 are they not filled up that much? And um, the chickens actually take a lot out when they do. So well, we haven't done this in like forever. Uh, like, as you can see, wow, that one nice and long time. But it's just that they don't, the um, eggs get poop on them because the chickens just like to sit around in here. Yeah, and one chicken was crazy because um, it was like literally sitting in here. Well, we have them all named, sort of. Um, and we we named, we named it Wallaby. Well, somebody else named it Wallaby. We call it Wallaby. Anyway, she's the whitest chicken that you see in our videos. Um, and she used to always lay, like, was always just sitting in one of the boxes. I came down here in the morning, she was laying in the box. Came down here at noon, laying in the box. And later, um, yeah. She just liked laying in the box, I guess. Um, also, if y'all were wondering, um, we did build this chicken coop, um, handmade actually so all this wood most of it our dad got from pallet of course you can see this is made of plywood um most of it was done with a pallet and there on the floor is chicken wire we have a long piece of plywood that can just cover that so in the winter it can be nice and warm um so very well so yeah and then these shingles here they were from the roof of our house um sorry about the big mess there's not we, a good way to clean it off of there we still but, have yeah. um a lot of shingle left from our house so we you we use shingles on this coop and then we also used it on raptors our dogs raptor stock house and then we also used it on your rabbit's cage oh uh, yeah all right so now we're done with that so we're gonna set that aside slash put it in this yeah and then we're gonna get the uh, the flakes the little chips now this is the fast part um, because we just put those in there. Ah, kind of heavy. All right. Nope, I missed very badly. Well, that's kind of good, actually. All right. Um, start with this one, I guess. Yep. Working our way back. Look at how big old hand. Look at the difference. That get a big old and that. they kick out so much it's not even worth putting it in but the eggs are really nice and safe for a couple days right. so nice. this one. the first one is the dirtiest see how when we paint we made this thing we we did it for almost free except the paint and the plywood i think was the only cost we've added little things over time like this and then this actually the nesting box we added over time because we built this coop just for them to um lay eggs in um, so yeah, the paint, um, we just bought that, and then we also bought the, um, plywood, plywood, and, um, this was added on. This used to be one whole piece of plywood back here, it went all the way down, but we actually added this on later to accommodate them laying eggs. Alright, that's probably good. Oh, you didn't show the last one. Oh, sorry. And then in there, you can see, like, there's this little gate. So that's nice in the winter, when we, um... Not nice when you take out the plywood. When we put in the plywood... Um, and, um, we put the flakes in there so that it holds the flakes in there a lot better. When they walk out, they don't you just push them all out, but then it's done. So, also, how you put the plywood in there, um, you have to take off this whole front part. Yep. Let me show you after we finish doing this. Nah, it's okay. I'm going to go ahead and go a little tour around here, so... There's a little lock right here. I've never really done this. We got this little doorknob. Even this lock, I think we found pretty cheap off of like eBay or something. This handle we just had from an auction or something we went to. Um, yeah, there's the inside. It's pretty roomy. Hello. That little bar up there is perfect for hanging lights off of in the winter time. There's also a little window here. In the winter time, we would close it and then we can just move this little thing down as a lock. It can't get open. It's got chicken wire that way. Um, like, no big animals can get in there and stuff. And that's the chickens won't get out. 
But if, if the, we ever put this coop outside, like before when they were small, um, we would put it out there. And this was an open. Um, not, this this here is just this is a little pulley attached. And um, yeah, this is pretty cool. Tell them about when we fed it with the metal feeder. And then this. Right. So when we used to feed them, we would put the feeder out here and we would close this. And once we opened this, they all just ran out. Even though the feeder was like halfway full when we filled it up they would just run out like they were crazy and we even got another feeder and they still did the same thing and they only did it to the metal feeder yep all right dylan now we're gonna show them dumping it so um so you didn't tell me it's okay um so you usually this right here um our dad brush off go get the um stuff right okay there. no oh, not right there so there's usually a pile right here all this grass was about this high it's kind of hard to tell um but yeah about that high and we had a big old pile of stuff here so we're gonna go ahead and dump it dump it and we'll make a new pile all right there we go we still use this, well at least i still use that pile okay. all right that's like our second and so pile. um now I'm going to go ahead and get the GoPro out. Okay, oh, just drop the GoPro. Um, so y'all get a little behind the scenes look here. We'll probably put this in as like a blooper, even though it's not really a blooper. It's kind of our tradition to put in a blooper. Huh. Um, so yeah, this, just slide that in right there. It's a little mount. And then um, what you do is you just aim the camera however you want. This button right here is the on button. That'll turn on. And um, this is what it looks like. The battery is really low. We always record in 1080p, 60 frames per second. That's what I'm doing right Most here. Most of the time. Um, also, we're going to go ahead and switch to GoPro footage. All right. And now um, we're going to go ahead and um, drive up and we're going to go ahead and switch to GoPro footage. This is the recording setup for this video. So every single video almost is shot on this iPhone 8. Um, it is my personal phone. It actually has a crack here. I'm actually really careful with my tech and usually I have a screen protector on here. But um, this time I was extremely unlucky and it um, cracked down here. Sorry if the audio is a little bad. But yeah, it cracked. And there's a little crack over the whole screen. But if you're like watching videos and stuff like this, you hardly ever notice it because your hand's usually right here covering it up. Yeah, we always shoot right there in HD 60. Um, 64 gigabytes. So, yeah. Thanks a ton for watching, y'all. Um, I just want to say, um, um, smash that like button. Um, don't, don't you just say it. <laughs> but just smash the like button. Smash that subscribe button as well. And um, we'll set a goal of subscribers to 100 subscribers. Okay, that's just our goal. Just 100 subscribers, all right? Just whoever's watching this, share with people you know that you think will enjoy this content. Um, you don't have to leave a like, but you can. Um, if you didn't like the video, comment and tell us why. I think the comments may have been turned off. I'll try to figure that out. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Minute. Oh, I think it just figured out its way. Um, as you can tell, we have um, kind of cleaned it out a little bit. Um, so yeah, looking good now. I did tell you I would keep you posted. Now let's help this poor little helpless chicken here. Not really a good way I can show y'all. It's okay. I got it. Come here. Okay, come here. I got you, girl. I'm gonna get you out of here. Yeah. Um, usually this fence is um electric, electrified. So yeah, we saved a chicken. Chicken.